Yo, yo, yo. Straight be the villain. How you feeling? Oh, yeah. And don't ask me why I have this basketball in my hand. That is because the following videos before this one has been a whole lot of Patreon videos. Oh, you didn't know we had a Patreon? Oh, yeah. We just created our first ever Patreon. Link in the description. Until Sunday, all tiers on the Patreon is half off. Okay? Everything is half off. And I mean all exclusive content. I mean, pshuh. Oh my goodness. All exclusive content. Link in the description. Talking about no fat. Talking about senior retention. Talking about relationships, sex, love, like in depth. Like not, not that YouTube shit that y'all just used to. But not also not, not that little freaky, geeky, dumbass, lustful ass shit. That real, authentic, transparent shit. So link in the description. Thank you very much. Now, I want to discuss the people that do and do not practice what they preach. Oh my goodness, that is a staple in my life. Practicing what you preach. Oh my goodness. Because how many people have you seen in your life, in your immediate relative family, who don't back up what they say? They don't back it up with actual action. They don't back it up. They don't know how to. It's not their fault. They're, they're, they're used to hearing themselves talk and not having no pushback from nobody else. Whole time, you have been, are the one to push back on their faults. Everybody got them. But that builds narcissistic traits. That builds narcissistic men and women. Yes. Practice what you preach. If you are a pimp, and every day, in real time, you eat Burger King, you give your hoes Burger King, you give your hoes uh, Canes, McTrash, Star Fucks, all this caffeine, all this added sugars, and, you know, it's going to mess up their face over time, you know, get a little belly. Oh, you pregnant, girl? No. you. <laughs> she just she just a little plump. She just a little plump bitch. You know what I mean? But you go on podcasts and you talk about the healthy vegan or the healthy vegetarian lifestyle. Nigga, shut up. Shut up. But see, who's going to push back on somebody who's just talking for the cameras? Because he knows, possibly, that that's going to, him talking about that vegan lifestyle and that vegetarian lifestyle is going to appeal to a lot of people. And a different type of people. I'll be telling y'all, man, these, these grifters, these, these, these grifters, comes at a high price, bro. High price. Like, that's their bid. That's what they're bidding. The grift. Shit, uh, shit right, right, shit right, right here. Who got here? Who got here? What fuck going right here? Two go right there, right there. Two go right there. Three go right there. Three go right there. Right there, right there. Oh, four in the back. Four in the back. That's you. Okay, four in the back. Four in the back. Five hundred. Five hundred. Four in the back. Four in the back. Anybody going once? Going once. Going once. Five hundred. Five hundred. Oh, seven hundred. That's the bid. That's what grifters do. That's how they get their bag. I'm not knocking it, but I'm here to shine light on the fuckery because I am a truthful, righteous man. That's my principles. That's what I stand on. That that's my foundation. The truth will piss you off. It will piss you off, but it will set you free. Trust and believe that. It will set you free, but it will piss you off first. How many people in your life, in your immediate family, do you know who can actually handle the truth? The unbiased facts. With the evidence, with the statistics, with the studies... With the data. What's up? Back to back to back to back to back. You've shown me all the times that you weren't available. That you weren't ready. But you told me that you were. Your actions aren't exuding that you are prepared and ready. If you know you have a math test on Tuesday, last Monday, and you don't study. Yet you stay on the phone all night with these girls. You stay late after school chasing around these girls. You go to the mall. 
You go to the gym, don't do shit. It's only it's only because the hole's there. Trying to be uh, Jordan Poole had a Jordan Poole effect. You ain't doing nothing, nigga. Okay, but you know you have to study. This is a big test. If you fail, this is borderline summer school, nigga. Borderline summer school. Yet you wait until that Sunday to study for your test on Monday, and that's being nice. That's being nice. Whose fault is that? You can't be, oh, I didn't even, oh, I forgot. You chose to forget. That's your, because you had no pushback. Your homeboys, your homegirls, your little, your little, your little, your little Snapchat streaks, <laughs> they wasn't holding you accountable. They don't give a fuck about your grades. They don't give a fuck if you pass or fail. <sighs> Come on now. Y'all, y'all know how this shit be. You have to hold yourself accountable. Practice what you preach. Stand on it. Live with it or die without it. What you got? What do you have? I say it all the time. And not, I make this analogy, you know, my last name is Banks. But what do you have to bring to the bank? If this is the only time the bank is open. The bank is open from sunup to sundown. 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Right? What did you do in that day to get money? To, to show the bank that you can get a cashier check, that you can get withdrawed some money, that you can make a withdrawal. Nothing! What y'all expect? Y'all have this rude expectancy about yourself, this, this arrogant expectancy that you are granted this just because you are whatever excuse you want to fill in there. You see what I mean? It's bullshit. You are not practicing what you preach. You have a faulty fundamental. <laughs> Whereas people who do practice what they preach, they realize that all of this shit is fundamental. Hello. Hello. That's a little wordplay, ain't it? It's fun to mental. This, this is fun for me. I'm having a great time. I realize life is a game. Yes, I'm not going to be at 90 plus percent every single day. But due to my systems, due to my consistency, due to my habits and my persistence and my fortitude, girl, you can put anything, my, my, my worthiness, my values, my core ethics, everything, all of that into one, all of that into play. Guess what? I'm going to show up. When I need to show up, <laughs> sooner or later, I'm going to be at the place that I knew I was going to be at. Sooner or later. Why? Because every day, whether I'm 20%, 50%, 80, 90, 105, 110 some days, I, hey, I got hey, three days in a row, I'm 110%. Stack your days, people. How can you stack your days? Stack your habits. Habit stacking. There's, a, there's, there's always a method to the madness, y'all. Always. And that's why I love psychology so much. There's always a method to why somebody acts and thinks the way that they do. Always. You just got to ask the right questions. Some of them are very touchy. You know, oh, okay. Practice what you preach. You don't want to, you don't want to have people behind your back Gossip and saying that you are not who you portray you are to everybody else. But when y'all get alone, they chatty patty all in your face. Key key high five and and, and, and fist pounding. Yeah. <clears throat> Practice what you preach, man. You don't have to worry about those things. And guess what? To the people that had to run into those issues. You, you knew they were that type of person to talk that type of talk anyway because all they do is project. They don't even know how to take and manage a truth, let alone the truth. <laughs> there's a difference between what you deem as true and what is the truth. As they say, there are three sides to every story. Their side, the other person's side, and the actual truth. This is your truth. If you... Excuse me, if you can come more to the middle as much and as frequent as possible, 
You are a part of that righteousness, truthful, practice what you preach group. I like you. You one of my kind. Practice what you preach, ladies and gentlemen. That's the video. Send this to somebody who needs a, a shake-up, a wake-up call. Man, stop lying. Do you realize your lies are getting you more in trouble than being honest? But you say you hate being in trouble? Fix your mind, fix your habits, fix your pattern, people. It's a beautiful life out here. Practice what you preach, man.